and Ounce, Sleeping Beauty of Sweden, The Astonishing Tale of Carolina Olson. I'm Jim Fugate, and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. Ever had one of those mornings where you just didn't want to get out of bed? Ever felt like you just like to lie down and sleep for a few days? Ever had to face a tough situation and wished you could just go take a nice nap and not wake up until the issue is passed? I would have to say yes to all three. Sleep is one of the best ways I know to end a busy day, and it can be such a wonderful escape. Not only that, sleep is necessary for humans. Good sleep promotes healing and recovery for the body. Often, it can give us a place to retreat from stress. It allows for our brain to reset. Good and regular sleep helps reduce depression and lowers the risk of suicide. And how often have you gone to bed with a puzzling problem on your mind and awakened in the morning with a fresh perspective and a solution? All sleep, all the time, not really much of an option. There was a, an unusual event that began on a very cold day in Sweden in 1876. It was the evening of February 22nd. A young lady fell asleep. Okay, falling asleep is not that remarkable. But this girl stayed asleep for 32 years. She started her epic nap when she was 14 years old. It ended 32 years later when a startled and confused 46-year-old woman woke up. Carolina Olsen of Okno, Sweden, while on her way home from school, slipped and fell on the ice and got a little banged up. No big deal, kids do it all the time. She stood, brushed herself off, and continued home. Later in the evening, she began to suffer from jaw and tooth pain and was instructed to go to bed early to rest and be ready for the next day. However, the next day she didn't wake up and couldn't be awoken. According to the tales and stories about this sleeping beauty of Sweden, her nails and hair stopped growing and Carolina continued to look like a 14-year-old girl, but in suspended animation for 32 years. The accounts agree that her mother did her best to feed Carolina a little milk to sustain her but she continued to slumber. Doctors tested, probed, and even delivered electrical shock, and Carolina continued to sleep. While she slept, one of her brothers passed. Her mother also passed. A new century began. She aged through her teenage years, her life as a young adult, and so much more. Finally, in 1908, a housekeeper heard a stirring in Carolina's room. Quickly entering the room, the housekeeper found her, crying, shocked, without a memory of the past three decades, and still very much the same 14-year-old girl who went to bed early on February 22, 1876, to sleep off the pain of some bumps and bruises received from a fall on the ice. Nobody's really sure why she slept so long, but she did, and when she awoke, she continued for another 42 years with a healthy and active life. So here's the ounce. Carolina Olson had a life that included a childhood lasting to age 14 and ending in the 1870s. Then a three decade hole and a resumption of life in the early 1900s. She missed a lot and her family missed her, but that time was gone those people were gone and none of it could be reclaimed. If we're not mindful, we can find ourselves doing something similar, withdrawing from life, allowing people and experiences to pass us by. I get it. There are some things I would rather not face, some things I would much rather avoid. However, when we withdraw to hide from the tough stuff, we also cut ourselves off from the good. There are those who are loved ones we would never get to know. There is experience, wisdom, failure, and success we would never have if we cut ourselves off. What would you prefer? A life full of all kinds of experience and color? Or a life filled with uninspiring and protected dullness? Your choice. You can be awake and engaged, or hiding and asleep. And that's it. 
announce, submitted for your consideration.